good day everyone. We are the student nurses from University of St. Asal and we are the group 3B. At this moment, we're going to present our research study entitled Incidents of Anxiety Among Nursing Students. And the presenters are yours truly, Zener Seguera, Ella Valeriano, Nina Valeriano, and Cyril Villanueva. Students force themselves to wake up early to do piles of schoolwork and perform different activities, even though they still want to sleep and dress. Many students wish they could do that, but the thought of having dreams in life made the students determined in doing all the tasks given. But doing intense academic requirements, including the requirements in clinical program, the additional work and home obligations could continually turn to significant life changes, leading to a feeling of anxiety. Anxiety is hard to resist. It occurs naturally. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, anxiety is one of the most common problem teens and young adults face. This can contribute a negative impact on their ability to learn and enjoy their own time. This study aims to determine the causes of anxiety among nursing students. This may help student nurses to avoid this situation for them to perform well academically and be able to provide high quality nursing care to the patient. This study used a quantitative descriptive research design to determine the incidence of anxiety among nursing students at the University of St. LaSalle. It aims to determine if there is a difference in the anxiety of each year level. This research design is used to answer the following questions, who, what, when, where, and how it is associated with particular research problem. This research design cannot conclusively ascertain the answer to why. Participants of the study are the nursing students from the University of St. LaSalle, specifically the 100 participants in the first year, 94 participants in the second year, and 61 participants in the third year level. For the instrument, this study is used research meets survey questionnaire. The survey questionnaire are based on the objective of the study. Likert is used for the survey questionnaire and good and sick is used for validity tests. Crunchback alpha test is used for reliability tests. For the results and discussion, in terms of age, the most participants belong to the age of 18 to 20 years old, as they compromise about 68.6% .6 and 0.8% belong to the age of 16 to 18 years old, and 30.6% belong to the age of 20 and above. In gender, 77.3% of the participants were female and 22.7% participants were male who answered the survey. In terms of the year level, level one has the highest with a percentage of 39.2% or 100 participants. Level two has 94 participants or 36.9%. And level three has the lowest percentage of 23.9% or 61 participants who participated in the survey. Taking into consideration, duty week or clinical exposure is the highest challenge for student nurses. On the other hand, student nurses were also experiencing anxiety during return demonstration, post-test and exam. Table three. Table three shows that there is no significant difference in the incidence of anxiety among nursing students when grouped according to age. Computed value with 1.836, p-value with 0 0.399, and year level computed value is 5.642, p-value with 0 0.060 or 0 0.05, level of significance. Therefore, the null hypothesis is not rejected. For the conclusions and recommendations, therefore, we conclude that the primary causes why student nurses were experiencing anxiety are due to return demonstration, post-test post exams, lectures, assignments, task, oral recitation, and duty week, and clinical exposures. It affects students' anxiety since they are dealing with patients' lives with limited experience and they are afraid to make procedural mistakes in front of their patient and clinical instructor. Student nurses feel pressure in clinical exposure because aside from per performing the procedures in front of the patient, they will also need to do charting, which is very important data to the pa patient's chart. 
and student nurses need to do their paper requirements or tasks given to them in that week. Nursing students face difficulties when pursuing an online learning. Nevertheless, whether you choose to pursue your education in campus or online, trying to obtain a college education can be a frustrating process. Walden University introduces these nine simple, effective stress management techniques that can help to reduce anxiety during online class. Stay social. Make sure not to isolate yourself. One way in staying social is making a phone call with your friends or families because it is one of the easiest stress management techniques to incorporate your day and it can help you express your feelings and emotions. Get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is critical not only for online learning, but it also keeps your stress level manageable. Exercise. Exercise can improve or remove and it's not only good to reduce the anxiety of the person, but it's also good for our body and mind. Eat well. This is another simple stress management tip. We should eat food that's good in our body like fruits, vegetables, protein, and whole grains, or anything that can be beneficial to our body. Get organized. Making everything organized makes a person feel calm and the stress level decrease immediately. Manage your time wisely. From getting up early and prioritizing tasks on time to avoiding distractions and setting goals, managing your time wisely will give you structure that you need to tackle both your academic and personal to-do list while learning. Get help if you need it. When you're feeling stressed, there's nothing wrong like talking to a professional to help you feel better mentally and physically. Take breaks. Managing stress as you pursue your online education can often be as simple as taking a break even for a minute to relax your mind and to give your mood a boost. Check in with yourself. Taking a moment to regularly check in with yourself to test how you're feeling physically and mentally, then incorporate your stress management techniques that can work best for you.